Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great toy hauler value from Parkway RV Center. Today we're looking at a 2003 Keystone Hornet model number 29 FBH toy hauler. Uh, folks, this was a Kentucky trade-in. 32 feet long overall, including the tongue. Weighs 7,780 pounds. It has a 2,800 pound cargo carrying capacity. Very heavy duty. Very well built. And I'm going to tell you, for a 2003 model, this thing's just really in exceptional condition. Uh, here in the front, you've got the power tongue jack. Rear or front roof access ladder. Notice the overlapping fiberglass cap on the front. You see, most RVs, uh, especially towables, leak in the front. And they leak on the corners when there's no coverage for the corners. This one right here with this overlapping cap, there's no straight edges. So you're going to have a whole lot less le leak worries than you would with one without that cap. Costs more to build them like this. So you generally only see this on your higher price, more premium series travel trailer toy haulers. It's also got the diamond shield on the front. Uh, the striping, the finish looks great for a 2003 model. The awning's in great shape. It's got two entry doors. It's got the chrome wheels. This is a Kentucky trade-in, so it's not something that's been up north in the rust. Not anything has been down south in Florida where you have to worry about the damaging sun hurting the exterior and the rubber roof. Just a good quality southern RV. Uh, double axle, of course. Very heavy built aluminum frame. It's got the rear ramp door for loading your toys up, of course. It's got a nice high clearance, and that's great if you've got golf carts, UTVs, side-by-sides. Still got the Kentucky tag on it. Absolutely no delamination. Now, folks, I, I'm not even going to try to squeeze my fat gut through this uh, narrow spot right here, especially on camera, but as you can see, it looks good. <laughs> You know, Keystone RVs, one of the biggest manufacturers of towable RVs, second only to Forest River. And, of course, they build the Montana, the Sprinters, the Springdales, and many other brands. So this is a well-established brand. They built uh, tens and tens of thousands of RVs, probably hundreds of thousands of RVs. So it's safe to say they know what they're doing. This unit is prepped for a generator. It's got a built-in compartment for one. Um, give us a call if you want a price, you know, uh, on a generator installed. We can get a new one, or a lot of times we may have a used one in stock. Uh, just give us a call. We'll give you a price either way you want to go. It's got the outside auxiliary shower. I mean, you can look at the striping on it. You know, most O3s are even newer ones you look at. They're cracking, they're peeling, they're fading. That's the advantage of buying a southern RV like this one. It's not in the harsh climate like other areas of the country. And that's why smart shoppers come from all over the United States to buy southern RVs. It's got the stainless steel fender flares, the good looking alloy, the aluminum wheels. Really a good looking camper, folks. Let's walk around and go inside this 29 FBH. It says 7,780 pounds, 32 feet long, including the tongue. Most dealers would advertise this a 29-footer, but we try to be as open and truthful as we possibly can. And so we advertise on our sizes. We show the length, over, length overall, not just the box size. Folks, as we step inside here, I mean, this is a nice, clean toy hauler for an 03 model. In fact, I wish I could find a lot full of them this nice and clean in 2003 for this price. Inside, you've got a front bedroom, which is what everybody wants. A 56-inch bed, so it's almost a queen-size bed. Uh, you've got storage around the top. There's no water stains anywhere because that front cap. You don't have to worry about leaks in the front. No signs of water anywhere. Everything's as solid and as good looking as a 2015 model. Uh, it's got a wardrobe closet right here. It's got a privacy curtain. This unit's got ducted air, and ducted furnace. Of course, it's a DSI furnace. You flip a switch, you got heat. 
It's got the DSI water heater that runs off LP or electric. Side kitchen. Uh, notice all the drawer space, cabinet space, good solid hardwood cabinets. Double sink, range top, oven, microwave. Little shelving and storage above the cabinets. It's got a, I guess you'd call it a coat closet right here by the door. Storage under there. You can pull these rugs up. It's all original linoleum, original carpet in the bedroom. All looks great. And that's really unusual for toy haulers because people tend to use toy haulers on dirt tracks and, uh, you know, places that you normally wouldn't take a camper. So a lot of times you get a toy hauler like this one that's a few years old. They've generally got a lot of stains on it from dirt, grease, things like that. This one has none of that. This is... If they've used this for a toy hauler in its life, I never could tell it, folks, because it looks great. Got a side bathroom. It's got the RV toilet, of course. Medicine cabinet. And I like the tall roof in this one because I'm, a, I'm six foot four, 280 pounds. And a lot of times I step into these showers and these RVs. And if it doesn't have a skylight, my head's rubbing up against the ceiling. Not with this one, folks. This thing's got a good tall roof. I mean, there's... You can be eight foot tall and take a shower in this RV and, and not hit your head on the roof. And of course, all enclosed in the side, so you don't have to worry about blocking access to the camper if you're in the restroom. It's got a table booth that makes a bed. This makes a double bed. Uh, overhead storage. It's got the CD player. It's got a place for a TV. And of course, with these newer flat screen TVs, you can virtually hang them anywhere. Uh, so you can sleep two, four, you can sleep two in the front, two here, and you've got actually got uh, a good queen to king size bed in the upper loft area. And you've got ductwork up there for air, so you're not going to get hot in the summertime. It's got the ladder, comfortable mattress. Uh, back here in the kitchen, you got the Norcold two-way RV refrigerator freezer. All your breakers and fuses are right there underneath the fridge, so easy spot to get to. That's your return for your ducted air. It does have the cool jets. And what that is, folks, if you look around the intake, you see these vents that are that you can open and close. And if you're in the camper, it say it's been 100 degrees, the air's been off, or you just plugged it up, you can open those vents up, and all the air will dump out the middle and cool this thing off a lot quicker. And then when you get it halfway cool in the living area, you can close those vents, and they'll distribute through the duct work into the bedroom areas and cool the entire RV off that way. You've got a locking door leading into the rear garage and it's a vapor wall too of course so you don't have to worry about sleeping and smelling gasoline or your motorcycles or four-wheelers or whatever else you haul back here is normally is normally kept at. And look at the floor in here folks. Like I said most toy haulers you look into they're a couple if they're more than a couple of years old they generally have oil stains they're beat up, they're scuffed up, but not this one right here, folks. Like I said, I can't tell it's ever been used to haul anything back here. Uh, but you do have a 10-foot by 8-foot garage bay. It's got the diamond plate floor. Uh, the walls aren't stuffed up. The ramp door looks good. It's got some overhead shelving. And you've got plenty of tie down, so you could actually put two or three motorcycles in here, dirt bikes, or four wheelers, side, whatever you want, folks. You've got a lot of space in here, good tall roof. So, really, a good, versatile floor plan. And I love toy haulers because, like today, it's about 60 degrees outside. I know it's January, but it's the south, so that means it's 30 degrees one day, 60 degrees the next. But on a day like this, you can put some blocks outside, lower this ramp door down onto those blocks where the floor is level, and you've got an instant outside porch. It's going to let plenty of fresh air inside here. You put your grill, chairs, whatever you want on the ramp door. and just It's very versatile. It can be a ramp door. It can be a porch. You can open it up for ventilation if you wanted to, if you didn't want to have to run your air conditioner. Just a lot of things you can do with a toy hauler you normally can't do with other type RVs. Fluorescent lighting in here. It's got an outside entry door as well, locking door to the outside. And makes a great garage area. 
but yeah toy haulers are just, just really have come very very popular and not just for hauling toys like I said uh, I've even sold a few of these to people who make their living buying and selling at flea markets and what they'll do is they'll keep their wares in the garage bay and stay in the living area all weekend at the flea market and sell all their uh, goods out of the back and you got everything right there with you so just a good versatile floor plan uh, toy hauler season is just starting and we've got the, one of the largest selections of used toy haulers in the southeast folks I've got toy haulers starting at 15 foot to almost 40 foot long I've got anything and everything you can want in between fifth wheels travel trailers I've even got some hybrid toy haulers stuff that nobody else has got used toy haulers are extremely difficult to find and I'm gonna tell you my with my prices you're gonna save thousands this 03 model you've seen the condition of it it's just an immaculate condition you buy this thing new you're looking at forty five to fifty thousand dollars new for this toy hauler I'm selling this one folks for only twelve nine and I'll show you everything works great there's no signs of water damage no signs of leaks not been smoked in no pet odors. You can see, you saw the garage bay, how clean it was. You can tell whatever they hauled in here, they either kept it very clean and was very careful or they just didn't haul anything back here because it looks great. 12-9 will trade. Uh, give us a call. Our numbers are 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, you can get sales help at 423-605-6747. Our website is parkwayrvcenter.net. Folks, we're one of the oldest used RV dealerships in the entire United States. We've been in business since 1968. That's almost 50 years ago, folks. We're a third generation, family owned and operated, used RV dealer. We don't sell new. I mean, heck, you can buy this one right here for what you'll lose on a new one when you tow it off the lot. Uh, but this one right here, folks, everything we sell is used. We're not a franchise. We're not a corporate dealer. We're just a just a, a family RV dealership, the kind of business that built this nation. But, folks, we learned a long time ago to be in business almost 50 years in this very competitive market because, let's be honest with you, there's RV dealers on pretty much a corner of every town all across the United States. And we learned a long time ago to be successful in this business. You got to look at what other dealers are asking for the same make and model RV in the same type of condition. You got to look at the NADA, and you got to look at both of those and beat those prices by thousands. And that's exactly what we do, folks. We sell RVs all over the country. We sold over 500 RVs last year. 85 percent went to buyers that lived over 300 miles away and I'm talking about California, Canada, uh, New York, Maine, it doesn't matter folks we've sold RVs in all 50 states and folks I'm including Alaska and Hawaii because with our low prices even with the transportation cost we save smart buyers all over the United States thousands of dollars apiece last year and sold them a nicer cleaner RV than you're going to find at your neighborhood RV dealer. Folks, we've been doing this almost 50 years. We have connections everywhere. We get the nice RVs. We sell them for thousands less than the big guys can get them for. And we can, we know how to get them. We get them for everybody else scoops them up. Like I said, folks, you just can't beat experience sometimes. And folks, we have no dock fees, no print fees, no dealer fees, no tag and title fees. Folks, if you've ever bought an RV from a dealer that charged you anything other than sales tax and the sales price, you need to go back to that so-called dealer and demand your money back for the fees. Because all those fees they charged you are a 100% dealer profit, completely unnecessary to purchase a used or new RV. At Parkway RV Center, you have no worries. Not only do we save you thousands of dollars on the price compared to other dealers, we save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars on fees alone. Another thing that we do different than other dealers is we don't have commissioned salespeople. You never want to buy an RV from a dealer that has commissioned salespeople, and I'll explain to you why. First of all, by paying salespeople commission only, these dealers can afford to have 40 and 50 RV salesmen on their lot at any given time because they only get paid when they sell something. They're not paid by the hour. They're not paid salary. 
So it cost them pretty much nothing to have a lot full of RV salespeople. What this does, it creates urgency with the salespeople because they may only talk to one customer a day because there's so many salespeople. So they're going to do every trick in the book. They're going to put pressure on you. They're going to turn you over to managers trying to get you to commit the day that you're on their lot looking. This creates pressure, makes it uncomfortable for the buyer. It makes it uncomfortable for the seller. And uh, folks, what they also do is you go in there, you get a salesperson that you think it's their buddy, you, th you think they're your buddy, but they're going to, instead of go putting you in the unit that you want or the unit that you need, they're going to try to put you in the unit they have the highest profit in or the highest markup because that means a bigger commission check for them. They get 25% of the gross profit. So that means these dealers have to mark their units up even more to pay their salespeople commission. So really, it's, I mean, they, they get you coming and going because they're going to put you, they're going to try to talk you into buying the one with the highest markup so they can get more money. They're not going to negotiate with you because they want you to, every hundred dollars extra you spend on the RV is another $25 in their, in their pocket. So, of course, they're not going to come down on a price. They're, they're going to want to try to steal your trade in because, you know, if they every thousand they get knocked off your trade or that you take less than what your trade's worth, that's another $250 in their pocket. And it's just a never-ending cycle, folks. That's not how we believe you're supposed to do business. That's why people are scared to go to, to RV dealerships because they have to deal with these darn high-pressure salespeople. At Parkway RV Center, we're totally different. We don't have a, a RV prison yard, is what I call it, where you have a eight foot tall fence around all your inventory and you can't get in there without going through a sales office and getting a salesperson with a key. It's not like that here, folks. You can come look, you can drive right up to the RV that you want to look at. You may have noticed a price on the outside of this one, but all of our units are clearly marked with the price. You can look all you want. You don't have to talk to a salesperson. Um, you know, you can look at everything we have. We've got over 150 in stock. You can come in the showroom when you're ready. If you want to, if you have questions, my salespeople are salary only. So they're not paid to sell RVs. The RVs and the price sell themselves. They're paid to answer questions, to do your paperwork, and to do get demonstrations. But folks, that's what my salespeople do. They answer questions, they don't sell because they don't have to. And they'll work with you to get you in the RV, folks, because there's no pressure, because they get paid 100% the same whether the, you buy one or you don't buy one. It doesn't matter what you pay for it, they get paid the same. If you buy it or don't buy it, they get paid the same. That's just a great way we believe of doing business, why well, we've always done it. And it makes it easier because people don't dread going to an RV dealership like us because there's no pressure. So give us a call, folks. We're going to make it a pleasant buying experience. We're going to save you thousands. You're going to love our selection of used toy haulers, how clean they are, how nice they are, and you won't believe the low prices on them. Give us a call. Drop us an email. Come see us here at Parkway RV Center in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Thank you for watching.